Feeling disconnected from your community? Turn to BrainerdDispatch.com. Local news keeps you in the know on what's happening in your area. From breaking news to high school sports reports, get the important news of the day and updates on local events only at BrainerdDispatch.com. Good morning, Brainerd Lakes area. It's Wednesday, October 23rd. I'm Teresa Burke with your Brainerd Dispatch Minute, the weekday podcast of the Brainerd Dispatch, named best daily newspaper in the state of Minnesota, catching you up on the news of the Brainerd Lakes area. Here are today's top local headlines. Members of the Cass County Sheriff's Volunteer Response Unit conducted their annual training as they look forward to serving the community in any way possible. The unit was tasked with a mock scenario of finding a missing person in the outing area. They conducted the search in partnership with the Crooked Lake Fire Department and Outing Quick Response Unit. The group is composed of all volunteers and is only used during non-life-threatening situations. Read more on the unit and reporter Tim Spire's story in today's paper or at BrainerdDispatch.com. 8th Congressional District Representative Pete Stauber and DFL challenger Jen Schultz contrasted in their answers to Duluth News Tribune interviews ahead of the November 5th election. The seat was one of the nation's most competitive over the last decade, flipping parties three times between 2010 and 2018. But since Stauber took over in 2018, he has handily fended off DFL competition. Despite her 2022 loss to Stauber, though, Schultz is banking on a much tighter race this year. Read all about the candidates in today's dispatch. The Pine River community is getting to know its new police chief, Kent Cleveland. He's an officer with 36 years of service behind him and follows in the footsteps of retiring Chief Paul Sand. Cleveland accepted the offer to take over the job in August and has been working with Sand to nail down all the details. This is his first foray into the world of a small-town police chief. In the past, he's worked in larger cities like St. Paul, Minneapolis, and Golden Valley. Getting to know Pine River has been a journey. Find out more about Cleveland and Echo Journal reporter Travis Grimler's story in today's paper. From former Dispatch publisher Terry McCullough's column, This Was Brainerd, exploring the Dispatch archives, here's today's tidbit of local history. Eighty years ago today, in 1944, the Dispatch reported that word was received that Sergeant Jim McComas, a member of the 194th Tank Battalion believed captured when Baton fell in April 1942, has escaped the Japanese and is in a hospital in Australia. He was among 83 men rescued by a U.S. sub after it sank a Jap transport near the Philippines. For a daily dose of This Was Brainerd, visit BrainerdDispatch.com or find McCullough's column in the newspaper or e-edition. Now here's today's Lakes Area Forecast, brought to you by Tanner Motors of Brainerd. Storm Tracker. Here's the forecast for the Brainerd Lakes Area on this Wednesday. After a start in the mid-30s this morning, we see a largely pleasant and certainly more sunny day across Lakes Country today. Expect mostly sunny skies and afternoon highs into the mid-50s. Clouds will gradually increase later tonight then as we cool into the low 40s ahead of a chance for some additional showers on Thursday. Seasonable to even more mild weather then returns heading into the weekend with a good amount of sunshine and afternoon highs in the 50s to even the low 60s again by Sunday. I'm Storm Tracker Meteorologist Robert Daly. Thanks to Tanner Motors for their support, and thank you for listening to the Brainerd Dispatch Minute. For more news throughout the day, and for information on becoming a subscriber, visit BrainerdDispatch.com. Have a great day, and we'll catch you tomorrow.